Welcome to one of our priceless videos. Dreamcast TV. Today's video is going to be super short because it's about the art of nothing. This early 1900s postcard jokingly says the effect of intense night in Montmartre, which is a district in Paris. Of course, nighttime is just represented by a simple black rectangle, which could be anywhere before the days of widespread street lamps, saving the postcard issuer lots of money. Its postcard was so significant that it even caught the eye of one of the founders of the surrealist art movement, Paul Elward, who, along with many of the other surrealists, was an avid collector of weird and wacky old postcards, a selection of which is shown in one of the best books devoted to pre-surrealism postcards. Salvador Dali believed you could use the humble postcard, an early form of YouTube or Twitter, to tap into the subconscious desires of the masses. Is it any wonder that years later, one of the most influential painters from the minimalist art movement, Ad Reinhardt, controversially revealed a completely black painting? Well, less is more, as they say, a catchphrase that artists like him helped popularise. One wonders whether he was he himself was inspired in some way by this humble postcard that was issued more than half a century before his black brush touched the canvas. I've also speculated whether the author of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Ian Fleming, and the writer of Mary Poppins, P.L. Travers, drew their inspiration from early 1900s postcards as well, especially since Travers was an actual art critic during the heyday of the surrealist art movement. So it's funny how humble cards like these can either inspire us or seemingly predict future events, like a fortune teller reading tarot cards. Why not see what the cards say about you by clicking on my other video cardboard adventures.